So, first time you ever saw someone cosplay as your character for Umbrella Academy, what went through your mind? Uh, I was uh, pure shock. Yeah, but also it's very, it's very humbling. Yeah. It's very, yeah, it's exciting. I think yeah. for someone to like connect enough with a role that they want to spend hours and hours and hours making a costume yes. to emulate that character and like the person that I, I feel so lucky to play, that's crazy. Like that's exciting. It's exciting. It's so cool. And especially when they show up and like the group of their friends, there's like a Grace and a Pogo and a Luther yeah, and a yeah, Klaus. Yeah. It's like that when they get the whole gang together, that's really exciting. Yeah. And the effort that these folks mm -hmm. put into their costumes is absolutely staggering. We saw Queen of the Damned earlier, and I think she said she spent like 20 hours making her crown. I was like, that wow. is amazing. Did you, see, <laughs> did you see that bumblebee? Yes. Tra Transformer walking around. I was at a different Comic Con, I think it was Montreal, and we were in a service corridor like this. It was, it was an elevator, and it opened. I just remember there was a woman walking next to me, and she went, oh, oh! Right? I went, and there was a 10 foot transformer, like <laughs> <laughs> with all the sound effects and everything. It was terrifying and wonderfully thrilling. If you were to give someone advice of the one thing you need to cosplay as your characters, what would it be? I would say um, shave your entire body, wax your entire body, because wow. you're going to get involved with a lot of leather, a lot of string. And when I was wearing those leather pants, with the with the kind of string the laces, laces yeah, yeah. Along the side, I was always I was catching my like shin hairs and ankle hairs and stuff, <laughs> so they were always pinching. So just wax it off, wax the whole thing, like a professional I cyclist. I don't know if I can follow that. It's <laughs> good advice. I wouldn't I have thought about that. The opposite: get a wig from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wax the hair, make a no wig out of it. For him and all the hair for me. Great. If you could pick one character to cosplay as, and you know, craftsmanship, resources, not an issue. Who would you pick and why? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Prince Jared from Labyrinth. Okay. David Bowie. Yeah. I'd have to learn how to do today. that. I saw, yeah, yeah, yeah she, came up, she came up to the booth. Um, but you'd have to learn how to do the crystal ball thing as well, where, you know, I where mean, you I flip you a little. <laughs> which actually in the movie, uh -oh. <laughs> as a piece of tri trivia, a little titbit about Prince Jared. A titbit? A little titbit. <laughs> When he's doing this, basically there's a trick that folks can do with a, a ball where they can, they can kind of roll it from the front of their hands onto the back of the hand and back and across oh. and do all that. And so he does it in the movie, but it turned out it was someone behind him doing this, going. <laughs> so it looks like his hands. So I'm so impressed so with you David need, Bowie. So when you do it, you have to have to hire someone. Same person. <laughs> yeah, yeah.